Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom, Mr. Lee, to the hopefully let. So, this is just a, a, a clip I got from um, this, uh, I believe his name, uh, channel was IMQ. So, he, go, he uh, reviews, uh, you know, TikTok videos. And uh, I'm going to just play the clip because um, what's in the video is um, the clip is talking about um, archaeologists. They found an inscription, you know, in um, America and it goes, it dates back uh, about 2000 years ago. So that's just proving the, the scriptures uh, true again, you know, because um, after uh, going back over 2,000 years ago um, after the uh, captivity at the uh, the northern kingdom um, left Babylon under the king Salomonassar. That was around 730 BCE. That's when um, the, the tribes, 10 tribes, the, the kingdom was split and uh, we came over to the Americas and they, every time they find some just a uh, um, inscriptions or something is Hebrew so that's telling you that the Native Americans the Gadites the Reubenites were uh, Israelites let's go ahead and play it See, it's Hebrew, <laughs> written um written on a, um those stones, you know. It's Hebrew, so that's a direct. What what language do you think that the Israelites were speaking when they came? Um, so that's what if you go back, we were in twenty twenty four, so that's two thousand uh, seven thirty eight. So that's two. About two two thousand seven hundred years ago, um, that's how long, that's when they first uh, left the Middle East. All right. Now in the video, I'm so lucky for the uh, it didn't pick up a uh, good um, audio of the video, but uh. You got a lot of people um, saying that this is Egypt. Well, they're right to a certain uh, extent, right? Now, far there, some people thinking it's physical, but America is is uh, America is spiritually Egypt because Egypt means bondage, and I'm gonna prove that when I um, after I play the video, I'm gonna go to Revelations. 17th chapter with because Babylon the great America's Babylon the great all right Yeah, so that was in uh that was that inscription was found in New Mexico. Los Lunes. Uh it's called the 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 Cologne Stone. The De Cologne De Cologne Stone. Alright, so let's get the scripture. Alright, we are uh as I said, Revelation is the seventeenth chapter. So let's go down to verse five. And it says a mysterious name was written on her forehead talking about the vision that uh it was, it was john it's uh says babylon the great see it's not only babylon but it's babylon the great all right it says mother of all prostitutes because america dealt with all these nations all around the world 
you know, it, it hoard itself out, you know. It says, and ab absent absentees, mm, it's a lot, absentees um, in the world. Um, so, yeah, that's the code name for uh, Babylon, uh, America, the United States. All right. All right. It was in uh, the other scripture was in Revelations 11. All right. Now let's it's somewhere in 11. Um, which spiritually is called because it's a spiritual thing, right? It's not a physical thing. It's a spiritual thing. Okay. Um, here it is. Revelations 11 and 8 it says and their dead and their bodies will lie in the main street of Jerusalem right oh because I got this on the NTL, NLT version right let's see if we can change it back to the let me see let's change it back to the King James version alright Okay. I picked it. Okay, Revelations 11 and 8. Okay, it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. What's that great city? That's America. It says, Which spiritually is called Sod see? Which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. Because that's where our uh Okay, alright. It says, Where also our Lord was crucified. You know how our Lord was crucified over here as well? Let's pull it up. Because it said they're dead bodies. It's going to be a lot of dead bodies laying in the street. But as far as like this going to um, Ezekiel vision, right? The dry bones. So you can connect it to that. Because spiritually, uh, a lot of Israelites are dead over here. Right? So it says, well, spiritually, it's called Sodom and Egypt. Egypt means bondage. And... You can see America promotes um, the uh, LGBT, uh, you know, way of life and all other abominations. So you can be anything you want to be over in this in America. Well, in all these other countries, that they don't promote that. They do because they taking on America ways, but it's not as not as bad as America. All right. So it says where also our Lord was crucified. We know. Going back 2,000 years ago, our Lord was crucified in uh, over in, in the land of Israel, in Jerusalem. But spiritually, he was crucified over here. Because uh, going back to uh, the, re, the, the rebirth or the renaissance, you know, because our Lord was always, throughout history, our Lord was always depicted as a so-called black man all, all the way up until later. When these devils took over rulership and let me pull it up this man right here this devil all right this is where our lord was crucified all right caesar borgia and they pit him up to be the new christ or to be the new the savior so how is a damn Edomite going to save the nation of Israel. He saved us, all right. He destroyed us. All right. So our Lord don't look anything like this. Matter of fact, I could pull it up. Our Lord. Well, I could, matter of fact. We got uh, this. What our Lord more more will look like. This is a depiction of what the Lord will really look like. All right, I like this. This look like some Renaissance. This what the Most High will look like sitting on the throne. 
not with that long, not, he would have more like a, a woolly hair. This looked like a long hair, more like, like this. All right. So yeah, that's, I just wanted to bring that to the forefront. Lord willing, this is edifying. Look, you see the uh, Renaissance pictures. Hey, Putin, even Putin, um, Vladimir Putin showed showed you that. But we've been talking with the elders and apostles on down. They've been saying it for years. You know? So that's all that's all I have on this. Lord willing, this is edifying. Till again, Shalom.